So in the previous video we prepared our player and now let's start some coding or blueprinting. So here in the event graph we don't need this currently so I'm going to delete all of this. Don't worry about it when we need some of these we will put them back. Now since we selected third person or whatever I believe it's what third, third person that we selected for our project automatically if we go here in the project settings and here in the input you will see here that we have under action so we have action mappings we have the jump we have the move forward so on and so forth we need this one so we need move forward and move right in order to start moving our character and we have that so that is already defined and what is this well move forward will determine when we press or it will be called this is an action event that we will see right now how we can call it but when we press the W or S key, it will be called. Or when we press the up or down key, as you can see. And you see here these values, the scales. So we have one for the W, negative one for S, meaning if we want to move forward, we will use one because that is the positive axis, because positive is going forward, negative is going backwards, up is positive, down is negative, and right is positive, left is negative. So yeah, we have these, we have the move forward, we can go here in the player blueprint and what do we need first? Well, first we need to get, so right click here and we need to get get control. So get control rotation. And what is the control rotation? Well, you see, get the rotation of the controller, often the view rotation of this pawn. Basically, it will get us the rotation of the pawn or the actor basically the one holding this blueprint, which is our character in this case. And now that we have his rotation, we're going to break it because we only want to get the yaw or the Z rotation. So here I'm going to drag from the value. So you see here from the value, I'm going to drag and release a button. And now I'm going to filter for break a rotation. You see here, or break a rotator, excuse me. So click on the break rotator and it will break this rotation and it will allow us to use every individual axis of the rotation, X, Y, and Z. We want the Z, which is the yaw. So here, drag from it now. So drag from yaw and we are going to filter here for make rotator. So now we break and now we make. And what does this mean? Well, this means, and we are not, of course, going to do this. I'm going to break the link from here. We are going to plug the yaw inside of the yaw. So we are not going to plug the yaw inside of the roll or X. But basically, now we broke the rotation. We only have access or we have access to all three axes, but we only are interested in the yaw, which is the Z rotation. And why the Z rotation? Well, if you go over here and select our mesh over here and if you well rotate on the z currently it's negative 90 you see he is rotating left and right basically the z rotation is his direction rotation or if we want to rotate our character in the direction where he is moving we need to use the yaw which is the z rotation so now we are going to make which is the new rotation that we are creating but you see here from the return value i'm going to plug this or move this over here and I'm going to get the forward vector. So get forward vector. And again, from here, I'm also going to get the right vector. What the hell is this? Well, basically we are going to get the forward direction by using this rotation and get the right direction by using this rotation. And here I'm going to right click and I'm going to filter for add movement input like this. And we are going to copy and paste this because we are going to have it two times, as you can see here, because one is for the moving left and another one is, or actually left and right. And another one is for moving forward and backwards. We do need to right click here and I'm going to filter for move forward. And here it is. You see this axis event. What is this now? Exactly this over here. This is what I talked about. So axis mapping. So now we have the move forward, which means basically, as you can see here, when we press W, S or up or down key, we will detect that. So this right here will be called when we press the W key or S key up or, or down. So I'm going to plug this in into movement input, which is going to, if I hover over, you see this add movement along the given world direction. So this is going to move our pawn or move our character along the world direction. And you see the scale value? We are going to put the axis value over here. And the world direction, we are going to say here vector forward. 
And why vector forward? Well, because we are pressing the W and the S key. That's why we're moving forward and backwards. And here we are going to right click and we're going to say here. So let me just take a look at the name here. So we have move right. This is what we need. So right click over here. We need move right. And here it is, axis event, move right. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So plug this in over here. So when we press the A or the D key, and if I, if I go over here and unfold this for the move right, you will see when A or D is pressed, you see A and D. And the values are A is negative one and D is positive one because we're moving to the left and the right side. And the axis value will be plugged over here and the direction where we are going will be plugged in over here compile and save every time you change something over here make sure that you compile and save and I zoomed accidentally so here you are going to click on compile and save every single time you change something in the blueprint and I'm going to select this so select all of these nodes and right click on them and I'm going to click on create comment from this section I'm going to say player movement or simply movement so movement so that we know that this is referring to the movement inside of our node so compile and save and if I go back now in the third person hit play and when I start moving you see he is moving we are not rotating though as you can see we are not able to rotate but we are moving I'm pressing the W I'm moving forward pressing S moving backward pressing left moving or pressing a moving left pressing D moving right which is all of this here that we have just explained and if something is not clear please just ask comment in comment below the video and I will help you out okay what is the next step now we need to rotate and in order to rotate we need to get our turn and look up so if I go over here you see we have the turn not the turn rate, but the turn and the look up. You see mouse X and look up, not the look up rate. Turn and look up, these are the events I need. You see here turn, we have mouse X, look up, mouse Y. So if I go back over here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say turn. And here it is, we have the turn. And right click here and we're going to have look up like this. Not look up rate, make sure not the rates, but turn and look up, don't use the rates. And what do we need now? Where are we going to plug this? Well, I'm going to right click over here. I'm going to say add controller yaw input and right click again. And we're going to have add controller pitch input like this. So pitch, as you can see, if I go over here, the look up is mouse Y. Pitch is on the Y. So the yaw and the pitch input or controller are going to rotate our character. We are going to plug this for the axis turn right here in the yaw. And we're going to plug the axis value right here and do the same thing for look up. So plug it in over here and plug it in over here. And I'm going to compile and save and make sure every single time you need to compile and save or otherwise it will not work. So if I go back now in our third person, if I hit play now, we are able to look left and right but I'm not able to rotate up and down. So you see I'm, I'm rotating it or I'm rotating our character left and right and we can move, but up and down, I am not rotating the character. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to go back here for our player and make sure that you select the player BP and this here is okay. So for the pawn here, use controller rotation. Yeah, this should be checked. This pitch here should be not checked because if I check the pitch, and compile and save and if I go back over here notice what's gonna happen you see we are going to rotate our character you see to look up and right but we don't want that we want to rotate and let me just uncheck the pitch compile and save we want to rotate the camera arm because the camera arm is basically the rotation up and down because it controls the camera and it will start moving the camera up and down and we need to select it and we need to go under camera settings and here we need to say use pawn control rotation make sure this is checked compile and save or otherwise it will not work so compile and save and now we can go back over here and if I hit the play button, when I go up, you see, this is what we have. If I go down, this is what we have. And if I start moving our character, we, you see, I can start, well, moving. <laughs> Nothing complicated, so as you can see. So now we are moving and we are rotating. So I'm rotating, I'm moving my mouse left, or actually this is right and he's rotating right. Moving him left, he's rotating left. Looking up 
and looking down. So everything now works. And again, here you see the turn and the lookup are mouse X and mouse Y, as you saw already. And voila, we're just plugging it in the control yaw input and pitch input, which is going to rotate our character left and right and up and down. So select both of these, create a comment from the section. And here I'm going to say rotation and compile and save. And this was all for this video. And uh, fire from us I'll see you guys in the next video. Where else where I see you? Not in jail for sure. See you then.